and gentlemen. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Any, any anyway. <laughs> Anyway, seamless transition. Well done. Welcome. Magic. <laughs> Welcome back. What? Wait, no, clap again. There we go. Dang no, it. I clap. Ah. Uh, uh, you didn't say it fast enough. So. No. Uh, ah. <laughs> okay. Hello, no, everybody. You clap. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are back again recording because. This is the Artist and the Economist podcast, in case you didn't know. Boosh. And we are here to tell more stories. We are. Yeah. We have been, as we mentioned in the last episode, where we kind of just touched base with everyone and talked about our year, we were interested in doing a few more episodes before my eventual deployment in October or so. Mm-hmm. 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 And sure enough... Writing some stories sounded like the perfect thing to do next. It sure did. It's, I think, one of... I mean, I like them all, but I like this one the best, I think, because writing short stories is just, like, fun in and of itself. It's, like, a fun exercise to go through, Mm -hmm. thinking through, like, how, even with prompts, right, which are an important part of it, Mm -hmm. like, thinking through, okay, what route should I take? What's the, like, arc I want to follow? What's the, like bits what bits do i want to work in or just how stupid can i make this how stupid can i make this yeah (laughs) is that a concern of yours i'm excited if that's the case yeah i was just like all right let's ratchet this up a bit Mm. so we didn't explain it at the i think i alluded to it in the overtime section of the last podcast but i we didn't even say what the prompts we were gonna do were did we i don't think so i don't remember Ooh, a thing (laughs) <laughs> oh, that thing I told you not to touch. What? I didn't. <laughs> I just. What? I didn't. Zip. <laughs> Whoa, hey. <laughs> the artist and the economist after dark. Nights. <laughs> Taboo. Anyway, so the prompts that we decided to go with, given the recent kickoff to the NFL season, we chose football mm-hmm. and fantasy oh so magical so mystical and we are trademarking it now fantasy yeah. football never been done before i don't think it has i think even if you tried to make a game called that how would you do it it'd be so stupid and unplayable put it out on ps2 uh-huh nfl head coach <laughs> wait that was a thing that was a thing wasn't it yes it was oh man because people who made men were just all like Yo, we gotta get more money. Yeah, fantasy right. football is a thing. Let's put it on PlayStation. <clears throat> I love that it's like, hey, do you want to take a game where you can already do that thing, and then instead of fleshing it out with also being able to play it like normal, you just do that thing? Do you want to do that? It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got a game that does that. It's Unless called, it was made by a different competitor, which it's called Football Manager. 2013 and i can get that on pc thank you well dude football manager i hear is wonderful people love that game mm-hmm. are you kidding the soccer one yeah. yeah people rave about that game it's like it's like it's like the it's like the games that you don't play but everyone seems to love mm-hmm. it's like that's how i feel when people talk about forza the racing game. i agree with that yeah like people talk about like oh this is fucking cool you get all these cars and you do this cool shit in this big open world and i'm like i have never met a single person who had played that game this big open world where there are npcs there's like npc cars. cars yeah <laughs> like and you start races and then you just do it in the world as you're driving what it's like, that's fucking crazy that sounds awesome i'm not gonna lie and like <laughs> like final fantasy 7 but all the characters are cars yeah you fight um <laughs> the ruby <laughs> weapon which is like a Range Rover with like a dragon <laughs> head mounted on it. What? How would you drive that, guys? <laughs> Car PG. Ca- oh! <laughs> 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 just, you just like go crazy. It's like such a good idea. You just do a bit of you being like. Nah. Take that, Sephiroth's car. Oh, 
I'm sorry, officer. What's your trouble? <laughs> uh, I mean, I felt like I was with it the way. Uh, I'm a white man. I can't uh, try 55. <laughs> <laughs> then you just for like thirty minutes, <laughs> your voice patterns just like. Hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, right. I feel like we spent all of our energy doing openings and intros and lead-ins on the last episode, so I don't even know how we're gonna <coughs> how we're gonna drift. Get it into. <laughs> Reading our stories. All we have to do is shift gears. You know, I think you have an idea. <laughs> oh, wait, so, hang on, hang on. So your concern was you didn't think we had anything left in the tank. <laughs> so we gotta uh, fill her up, top it off, and hit the road. Those are the same basic thing. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fill her up, get some gas, <laughs> dust off the old pipe. <laughs> That's not a thing people say. Dust off the pipe. I'd love to pretend I was a mechanic and just <laughs> use dumb lingo. <laughs> like you see someone with like a a nail in their tire. It's like, ah, he got a little flappy pancake, don't you? People are like, excuse me. You got a short. Are you step. commenting on my body? <laughs> you got a <laughs> sick fuck. You got a muffin top floppy tit. <laughs> No, no, it's ti- it's a tire thing. It's tires. It's tires. Also, your transmission. <laughs> you can just, <laughs> see it just yeah, just like level. <laughs> oh man, looks like you're gonna need a little a little snake suspender. What? It's a serpentine belt. Also, your brakes are shot. You should not have driven here. You could die. <laughs> also, you're fat. <laughs> But I can't fix that for you. <laughs> oh, damn. I tell you what, I'll hold on to the car, then maybe you should just walk everywhere. Tubs. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and look, I can actually do that with your horn, because that's the one thing that works. <laughs> <laughs> How does this mechanic have four and a half stars on Yelp? <laughs> this mechanic's terrible. Oh, my God. Uh, all right, well, if you want to rev it up toward... I don't know why we're so stuck on car analogies when it's a football story. Yeah, seriously. If you want to, all right, let's the, the, let's break the huddle and let's go out there and let's execute. What time is it? Game time. Story story time. What time is it? Bed time. <laughs> <laughs> you said story time. <laughs> and I was like, bed time. <laughs> Can you imagine if Ray Lewis had done that for <laughs> Again. What time is it? And Ed reads like bed. Time. <laughs> <Peace>. <laughs> he just walks away from the model. Oh my god! Not fantasy fiction. Get... <laughs> Episode six. Off to a cracking start. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Now, like a, a Ray Lewis skit, like a SNL skit, where it's Ray Lewis at home with his kids, <laughs> and it's actually it. bedtime. <laughs> Just trying to get him ready for bed with his like hype up the team energy. Oh my god! <laughs> get him covers! Get him covers! What? 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 What time is it? <laughs> oh god, that would be amazing. He comes home from <laughs> work. He kicks open the door and he does that like strut intro that he always did from the locker room oh. his wife's like please ray <laughs> uh spoiler alert ray lewis comes up in my story oh my god uh-huh Somebody so that was murdered. convenient uh well something because someone because people get murdered in mine <laughs> Really? Awesome. <laughs> yep. No one gets murdered, per se, in mine, but you'll see. God damn it, we didn't get the continue coin. I was going to say we should do a coin flip for who should go first. Do you want to go find it? I'm going to go find it, yep. Be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you're going to go over this side of the room. Do it. Ah, ouch. Ah, the my... world sends me a trembling child. <laughs> ah, ouch. Ah. <laughs>
Did you also turn off the overhead light while you're over there? I like this like behind the scenes action. Sure, yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for bearing with us. This is not fantasy fiction on NPR. I'm your host, Story McTailson. Dory McStory. Dory McStory. <laughs> this is my partner, Dory McStory. <laughs> we are both very real. It's just gotten very intimate in this room. I'd invite you all to just sit back, enjoy a nice glass of Milk or your favorite juice or maybe a bubbly <laughs> water. Hot glass, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. My partner's uh, the lewd one. That being said, you should probably listen to him. Because it's coin flip time, baby! Let's do it! All right. What do I have to do? Call it in the head. Call it, call it in the heads. <laughs> call it in the air. Heads! <laughs> Caught in the air. Okay. And then, uh... I like that this is starting with a coin toss. Like, yeah. it's a game. Yeah, so... Football, footballs. And if we, if you get it, you can choose to have oh, me I go get first, it. or you go first. <laughs> so I defer to the second half? There you go. <laughs> so let's do this. Do it. Heads. It is game over. Does that mean tails? I think yes. that's tails, right? Yeah, because it's continue. Which is funny because both of the co- sides of the coin say continue. Well, see, that's what I thought. And so it says continue on this side, and it says continue on this side, but it also uh, says game over. I get it. So, it's got the skulls. Yeah, so it's a cool means coin. Game. Whoever got that for you is a sexy jean. Yes. It's a sexy pair of jeans. Mm, yeah, baby. I'd like to fit into him. I, I mean... I'd <laughs> like to fit into his body. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, let's just read stories. <laughs> like it's like an alien trying to do pickup lines. Like I'd love to, I'd love to, con- I would love to condense myself into a ball of light and orbit around you, girl. <laughs> orbit around dead ass. I'd like to. Pr- <laughs> I'd like to sustain myself on your nutrients. <laughs> what? <laughs> Talk about that. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, you won the toss, bro. All right, so <coughs> I will elect to go first. How about that? Sweet. All right. I like that. That's initiative is what it is. I see what I'm doing is I'm saving the best for last because my story's not that good. But Ooh. hey, let's get into it. I'm excited. All right. I didn't title my story. I actually didn't title mine either. Mm. But let's call it <laughs> Bedtime. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, strap <laughs> yourselves in. I'm t- consider, but I d- yes, I'm done. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm still laughing. About it's it. so funny. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I know we're you're here for story reading, but I'm still just laughing about bedtime. <laughs> what time is it? Bedtime. What time is it? Bedtime. <laughs> she stuffed animals in the house. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever sounds stuffed animal. I was trying to make like a squeak, but then I made like a little the sound it makes when you move a dresser. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not a little further. <laughs> All right. Anyway, go on, please. So, All right. Sunday night has arrived. Oh, bam, 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 bam. After a long and grueling preseason and having nothing but the Wizard National Basketball <laughs> League to watch for months on end, the season opener for the Wizard National Football League is finally here. I'm sorry, real quick. Is the Wizard National Basketball <laughs> Association just the WNBA? <laughs> I like the way you think. Oh, hell yeah. The WNFL is a relatively new organization founded by former gladiatorial champions who pulled their amassed wealth and remaining slaves to participate in a spectacle of arcane excellence. Yeah. While being a freshman sport, the community embraced it as its promise for excessive violence and a way to cull the booming slave and wizard population. You gotta call it. Struck a chord with the people with people of all ages. <laughs> call <Cold> hordes. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> get a cheese hat. Like, just, <laughs> good job. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> the atmosphere around Woodhurst Coliseum was electric as hundreds of fans amassed the vendors' booths and filled the seats. Mm. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the premier game of the WNFL. Boom the voice of the commentary centaur. <laughs> <laughs> 
tonight we'll be seeing if the Woodhurst Druids can hold their own against defending champs, the infamous outlaws of the league, the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> My God. Even in fantasy land, they're awful. <laughs> Fucking Raiders. Hey, they're the reigning champs. That- <laughs> That's, I think, my favorite part. This is a wizard football league. <laughs> I'm Chris Collins Horse. Happy to be here with you Chris on your Chris Collins Horse. I'm happy to be here on your crystal balls and seeing stones this Sunday evening as the action is about to get underway. <laughs> Chris Collins Horse. I thought that was a good callback. Would you, um, if it's not too much work at this point in the thing you put on YouTube? <laughs> that Chris Collinsworth Mr. Ed thing you did. <laughs> there's no question that the best there's ever been at doing caller analysis for any sporting event, in my opinion, is John Madden because he had the entertainment element. You're way ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. The crowd erupts as both teams charge down the tunnel and take to the field. The home team, your Woodhurst Druids, were debuting their recently updated uniforms, trading in their standard green and yellow robes with an appealing, albeit unintimidating, treant for green and ivory robes featuring reflective trimming. They also brandished a new mascot, a treant with a scowl and some sort of relic that soothsayers divined as a gun. <laughs> So it's like the same drawing, but it's got angry eyebrows and a gun. <laughs> we need to update the logo. Erase, erase, erase. Burp, 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 burp. Done. <laughs> it looks amazing. That's what, I, that's what I pictured immediately. Like if I was drawing this in a comic, it'd be like, okay, here we go. Awesome. The Raiders were in their traditional silver and black robes, which upon further inspection were the exact same robes they wore at Blood Bowl 9 the year prior. <laughs> They were singed and frayed, and some even had their sleeves ripped off. On an aesthetic level, it paired well with their spiked shoulder pads and elbow guards. Yeah, baby. Right in niche. Mm-hmm. All eyes are on Woodhurst's latest acquisition, a halfling kicker by the name of Bimbo Beasting. <laughs> <laughs> we had a chance to talk with the head coach of the Druids before the match, enlightening us to why a kicker was their first draft pick. <laughs> he says, these hobbits have legs and know how to use them. <laughs> We're hoping for a star-making, surprising turn out of beasting tonight. <laughs> That's all the coach had to say. That's all he had to say. That's awesome. <laughs> coach knows what he wants. <coughs> They've got one. How did he get to be coach? <laughs> Legs. That's what you use to stand out there. That's what you use to run. Uh, use them. Next year, I think we should target some arms. <laughs> You can do all sorts of stuff with them. Wizard Rome wasn't built in the day, boys. (laughs) Get in the gym. Wizard Rome. A hush fell over the stadium as the druids line up to kick off. The cheers of a sold-out coliseum break the silence as the ball soars down the field, and the game is underway. Catch, catch your rally wands. <laughs> rally wands. The Raiders receiver takes off like a bat out of hell, shoulder charging anyone who dare step in his path. Mm. The Druid's defense is driven to the wayside as spikes connect to arms and chests, Oof. eye sockets, and other unprotected orifices. Ooh, there's uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> the worst modifier you could put in front of orifices is probably unprotected. You can't even just, like, clench them. Ugh. They're just like, yup, nope, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Whoop. Clench your eyes. <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> Dang it. Ugh. Oh, where was I? I'm sorry. I, I was, because I, it's, it's very action heavy, and so I try to paint a picture with this one, so. Uh, it's, it's so far so good. Line by line, the raider runs back the ball until he's finally subdued, clumsily tripping over the corpse of the opposing team, putting them at first in goal. (laughs) As soon as the corpses were removed, whether by incineration or reanimation, players took the field again. uh, I'm sorry to interrupt again, but when someone stumbles on their own in football, it's usually said that the turf monster got them. This is like one of the only cases where it could be true. Yeah. Oh, turf monster got him. (laughs) Oh, you know, go, go, go. <laughs> just a joke gaping maw of teeth just opens up. And or a reanimated you. corpse was like, got him. <laughs> like a re-dead from Zelda, where they look at you and you just freeze. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Oh. Anyway, breaking from the huddle, both teams line up, 
With a quick snap, the patented Druid's Ring of Fire defense sprung into action. Ooh. The quarterback was surrounded by an actual Ring of Fire, <laughs> keeping him tight in the pocket. <laughs> Feeling the heat, the QB reels back and throws a flaming spiral out to the end zone. <coughs> Breaking from his defender, a Raiders receiver snatches the flaming ball. Touchdown, Raiders! <laughs> the crowd goes wild as the flame-engulfed ball is stamped out, slightly deflating it. <laughs> or that's the story that the Raiders want you to believe. <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> fucking Raiders. <laughs> fucking cheaters. Fucking cheaters. <laughs> fucking just attacking any orifices they can poke. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> With their spiky elbow pads. Oh, so them. Uh, what happened to the spirit of the game? <laughs> if any NFL commentary team uses the word orifice this year in any game, I will give you a hundred dollars. You're on. <laughs> oh boy. Soon after, the Raiders kick off to what remained of the Druid special teams. <laughs> after signaling for fair catch, like a dick, the Raiders charge through and mow down the recently reanimated receiver anyway, killing them all again. <laughs> what a bunch of jerks. It's not even like the end of the first quarter and Seriously? so many people have died. Yikes. <laughs> The Raiders are looking hot as they take a commanding lead at the start of the game, Collins' horse interjects. <laughs> Woodhurst, has to, Woodhurst has to respond, or at this rate, they'll have to scout a whole new lineup from the Druid Academy of shape-shifting and turning into awesome shit. <laughs> mm. Is that a That's fantasy a, fiction yep. callback? Reference. Nice little reference. So is, uh, Love you guys. There's even a little sleeper reference in there, too, if you can catch it. Certain names of certain characters. Ooh. Let's see if they can shapeshift the tide of this game. <laughs> Wasting no time, the druid's QB calls for the snap and works his magic. Quickly imbuing the ball with an enchantment, he hands the ball to his running back. The grass following the speedy running back rapidly grows shaggy, and any raiders in pursuit were tangled in its wild, seedy tendrils. Sweet. Turf monster. <laughs> this game's great. Yeah. He paints the field with a continuous patch of mangy, although pleasant-smelling, wild grass, tripping as many of his opponents as possible. That's at, nice. At, at least, yeah, if you're going to be on the grass, you might as well smell nice. <laughs> After zigging and zagging past defenders, he's eventually brought down, earning the druids a first down. Yes. Druids, druids. Just when the momentum was looking to shift, the druids struggled to gain ground. Each down is met with fierce opposition, and they're forced to punt. Or are they? Oh, shit. It's 4th and 11, the Druids line up for a punt. Wait, no, what's this? First draft pick, Bimbo Beasting, takes the field. From the looks of it, Woodhurst is going to attempt a 70-yard field goal. Unbelievable! Collins' horse exclaims. <laughs> the confidence in the new guy has gone from pompous to near suicidal. <laughs> Sears at home, don't adjust your stones or your balls. <laughs> this could be one for the history books. <laughs> Oh. It's gone from pompous to near suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that kid's gonna die. That's bad. <laughs> uh, Bimbo is eclipsed in the shadow of the Raiders' defense, but is unintimidated. The cheering from the crowd reaches a fever pitch, baseball, as the pr at, the pr <laughs> at, at the promise of three whole points. <laughs> bimbo, bimbo, bimbo. Wait, did the crowd go wild for both teams? <laughs> well, I mean, like one side, you know how it mixes up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, okay. like, there's, there's people who are there. It's the season opener. You're going to get a diverse menagerie. That's true. That's true. Especially you're going to probably get like the... The hometown folks who are like, no, I was fans of them because I moved here. Or, well, I guess, yeah, I guess you said it did take place at Woodhurst. The Woodhurst Coliseum. You yes, know? yes. So, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry for thinking through the logistics of it. I was like, wait a minute, Raiders fans must just travel well. <laughs> <laughs> or they just like, they just, they're, they're nomadic, so they just take up hold somewhere. <laughs> nomadic, that's even bad. That makes total yeah. sense. Well, there you go. It makes the people of Oakland seem subhuman. World building. Nice. <laughs> Take that, not people. <laughs> In a flash, the ball is snapped back and ready to fly. Time slows to a crawl. Channeling all the power Bimbo's halfling body could channel, he lets loose a <laughs> devastating kick, the leather of the ball practically melting against his foot before <laughs> rocketing into the air. With that amount of force, the miracle field goal was on path to make history. If it wasn't for the Raiders breaking through the defensive line by continuing their rampant killing spree. No! <laughs> Using their patented stickum enchantment, the kick was blocked <laughs> and almost intercepted. Wow. Fucking. 
no. I bought a bee sting jersey for this. <laughs> With the play blown dead. In celebration, the Raiders take advantage of the lax late hit policy and maim any remaining druids on the field. <laughs> God, they're so fucking awful. Yeah, this is the kind of ball that their fans like. I hate the Raiders. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's I'm, like the old school Raiders. Hmm. I'm sorry for all the coughing, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Yeah, it's cool, man. What do you think? Leave a comment. You suck! Oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> the whistle sounds again. Halftime. The only living player for the Druids was Little Bimbo Beasting. And the mascot. For now, anyway. For now. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> What? I oh, know. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, things are going from bad to ugly as the druids might be forced to forfeit due to lacking any living players. <laughs> In accordance with the rules, if the opposing team is destroyed or injured, the match goes into sudden death. Unless they can scrape together someone to return the kick, the game and perhaps the entire season might be over for Woodhurst. Oh, no, dude. Mm. That's not good. Drama. It's game one. Yeah, you don't want any of that in your business. Oh, dude, get out of my business. Get those spikes out of my unprotected <laughs> orifices. Please. <laughs> Please, more of that than anything. <laughs> oh. All eyes are on the druid's head coach. He speaks into his head-mounted talking stone and calls Bimbo Beasting onto the field. Yeah, baby. In another unprecedented move, the star kicker for Woodhurst is called to receive the kick. Uh-oh. There is no defense to speak of. Surely this is a death sentence for Beasting. Seriously. They want him to die. First pick. <laughs> First pick. Now, go kill yourself. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Fearless, Bimbo takes his place on the field to the cheers and jeers of the packed Coliseum. Yeah. The Raiders set up to kick, and the ball rockets downfield, followed by a stampede ready to crush little Bimbo. Uh oh. Bimbo takes hold of the ball as a mountain of muscles and spikes aim to pile on top of him. But then, in a feat of druid creativity, Bimbo takes the form of a kangaroo and jumps over the wave of pain descending upon him. Hey! The crowd goes wild as the snap of camera stones capture this pivotable... Pivotable? What? This pivotal <laughs> moment in not just the game, but WNFL history. It's gotta be one of the first times. <laughs> it's only been around for like nine seasons at this point. That's true. It's oh. creative. And they got the... Right away, so. Yeah. Blood Bowl. <laughs> Blood Bowl. I'm going to bleep myself saying that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Before Bimbo hits the ground, he transforms into a cheetah, the ball firmly in his jaw. Nice. The Raiders follow in hot pursuit, but their bulky bodies can't sideline the wily cheetah. <laughs> the remaining players leap from the bench in an attempt to stop him, only to be trampled by Bimbo, who transformed into a massive moose, bowling over <laughs> any player getting in his way. Nice! He hits the 20! He hits the 10! Touchdown, Druids! Woo! In an amazing display of magical prowess, little Bimbo Beasting single-handedly runs the the ball back snatching victory from the reigning champs this game is over ladies and gentlemen that's oh god what a game the whistle blows signaling the end of the game woodhurst fans would go on to celebrate for five straight days <laughs> nearly destroying their town <laughs> yeah that sounds about right <laughs> Controversy followed immediately as Bimbo was released from his contract for kneeling at the start of the next game. <laughs> the firing sent reverberations throughout the league. When reached for comment, the head coach of the Druid replied, I told you, he has legs and knows how to use them. <laughs> the end. Wow. <laughs> there was so, so much to love in that. <laughs> Just, oh boy. First of all, well done. Thank you. Just in general. Mm. Uh, second of all, I like. I really like Bimbo Beasting as a character. Mm -hmm. uh, third of all, I can't get the visual of a cheetah with the ball in its mouth out of my head. Just like, <laughs> just running. Yeah, it's just like, -boom, 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 -boom. like it's not gonna pierce the leather of the ball. <laughs> but it's just it's gonna hold it real good oh man and he what was he kneeling for what was he protesting well i mean i think he kind of knows that the league was meant to call the wizard and slave population oh i see okay that makes sense yeah so he's just kind of like no i gotta stand with my brothers okay i've gotta stand with my yeah gotta there, stop the violence i gotta i gotta there was gonna be an entire uh side plot like in the margins about mm -hmm. how like because he's a he's like a halfling he's a hobbit uh-huh but he's also a druid so he's a 
Hobbit Druid, and in this football league that's been around for only 10 years, like, it's not, you know, it's just all wizards and, you know, big bulky dudes who kill people. <laughs> so he's like, no, I want to break into the league and show them that people like us can play. I like that. That was going to be a side plot to it, but I decided to just make it more about the actual game. See, what's funny is I thought at first you were going to go like a Rudy route and like you kind of did mm. with like the little tiny halfling or whatever, like making a play to win the game, like tiny little Sean Astin for Notre Dame. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, coach. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. And then I was like, no, I don't think it's quite Rudy. It's actually even better because I don't remember the part of that movie <laughs> where he turned into a moose. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Rudy Moose, where are you going? <laughs> Can you imagine Notre Dame <laughs> just drew, brings a fucking moose out in a Notre Dame jersey? It's like, what? He's on the roster? <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> he made the team. What are, you, what are you, racist? Yeah, whoa, whoa, buddy. No, this is Notre Dame. <laughs> Home of the Fighting Irish. Home of the Eagle. <laughs> oh. oh, well done, man. That oh, was thank great. You. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like my story. I thought it was going to be... I still firmly believe it's probably one of the dumbest stories I've written for <laughs> these series of episodes. Dumbest in what sense, though? Dumbest in, like, it was, it's... I don't know. I think there's a lot of build-up and suspense in the ones that I try to do. Like, the bear and the beach one. Uh -huh. That's still, like, my favorite one I've ever written. I agree with that. That story's pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> but, like, with this one, it was just like, all right, no more particulars. Just get straight into, like, the actual root meat of the story. See, I don't know. I feel like it built up, though. Like... It's, I, channeled, I channeled some Hemingway. I was just like, this happened, period. This happened, period. <laughs> I channeled some Hemingway. I got super fucking drunk and then, and then wrote I, the story and then forgot about it until today. And then I edited it sober. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's bad advice, kids. Don't follow that advice. It's terrible advice, actually. Although, if you think about it... <laughs> so you're just like sitting there justifying it. You're like... Well, it's not that terrible. Drinking uh, does make you cool. And no. funnier. Yeah, don't More do attractive to women. Kids, do drugs. Kids, do drugs. <laughs> what? Don't say that. You're liable. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I also did not title my story. But I'm ready for it. Uh, so I'll call mine um, uh, the most dangerous game. <laughs> the most dangerous nap time. Most. <laughs> Bedtime. <laughs> And then she hear, like, someone's sleeping, you just hear a train. You just see Michael Vick load a baby up into his arm and throw it 70 yards into a crib. <laughs> <laughs> With, like, headphones on. <laughs> it's very dangerous. Yeah. But he needs his little nap. <laughs> then he takes a little bottle and does the same thing. <laughs> Lands, Lands in his in mouth. His mouth. <laughs> you got it. I'm a good dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't even my baby. <laughs> I just want to hold him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gentlemen, welcome to your destiny. Oh, shit. As the door closed on the boardroom at the NFL's Park Avenue headquarters, the last of six men took a seat at the head of the table. That man was none other than Roger Goodell. Oh, my God. Dressed in his familiar, albeit drab, suit and tie, Goodell looked every bit the part of NFL commissioner. But today, the NFL commissioner wore a different hat. Dungeon Master. Oh my god. Uh -huh. I was like, oh my god, they're finally gonna actually let wizards play in the NFL. <laughs> but no. Can you imagine? Kaepernick, blackballed wizards, fine. It's like, what? Come on. No, dude. maybe they kicked him out because they people weren't ready for an actual like Harry Potter in football. He just does look a little wizardy. He just needs he just needs the glasses. <laughs> What's up? I'm calling Kaepernick the wizard. <laughs> oh my god, he's right. <laughs> OC, do not steal. <laughs> uh, strewn about on the table in front of him were the familiar trappings of a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. 
dice, character sheets, maps, and figurines, plus a whole assortment of refreshments provided by League-approved sponsors. Nice. As the commissioner cracked the lid of a Diet Pepsi, the official soft drink of the NFL, he scanned the faces of the group assembled in front of him. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah, what are those guys doing here? Where are Ray and Marshawn? That handsome question came from the perfect lips of Tom Brady. Oh, damn. <laughs> Legendary quarterback and unexpected RPG fan. As Frostblood the Wizard, Brady was sort of the leader type of the party, so his words carried extra weight. They aren't here. I suspended Ray for this session and the next one after he threatened to kill everyone in the party last time. Ray was former Baltimore Ravens great Ray Lewis, who usually served as the group's rogue. Oh my god, yeah, he would. That's just how he is, noted Rob Gronkowski, perched on the table and using his chair as a footrest. He's lawful evil. He threatened to kill everyone in real life, Rob. He said he was going home to grab his penis stabbing knife. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go home with old Betsy. <laughs> Oh, that's my penis <laughs> stabbing knife. knife. Yeah, high fly and knife. <laughs> Can I just picture like like a blunted knife that curves down? It's got a rounded <laughs> tip, but it's still sharp. For some reason, she's like, "Whoa, Ray, why do you have this?" <laughs> you know, <laughs> home penis home, stab, home defense. <laughs> <laughs> it also works on buttholes. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> How do you like dash? No, I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, all right, what about Marshawn? Mr. Lynch can return next time. He's still serving his five session suspension for grabbing his testicles during a raid. It's not his fault he kept rolling 20s, Brady countered. Can we focus, please? I think you're gonna like the new guys. Just then, Tim Tebow piped up with his trademark boyish enthusiasm. Yeah, let's give him a chance, guys. Tebow is the party's paladin, a virtuous warrior with uncommon tenacity. He wants to lay the game for 45 minutes by insisting his robes have the number 15 on them. Oh, wow. Why don't you guys tell us about your characters? <clears throat> hey, guys. I'm Colin, but you probably knew that part, spoke Colin Kaepernick. Hey, hey. A longtime fan of tabletop games. But today I'm Nick Capper, ranger, rebel, skilled with my crossbow. I tend to fall toward the chaotic good side of things, which I think is new here. Uh, looking forward to helping. Fantastic, Colin. And as for you, Mr. Suddenly, Goodell was cut off. Welcome to Papa's house! Pass me one of them Sony Pops! Oh, man. <laughs> A highly animated Papa John Schnatter brought the room's energy level up immediately. This isn't a rum and coke without the coke, you know? Could you please call it a rum and Pepsi, John? <laughs> Yeah. Could I request it? And please, tell us about your character. Um, <laughs> You're getting as much mileage out of these name brands as the Jeep crossover. <laughs> oh, there's there's more. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, I like Sody Pop. <laughs> Get a couple of them Sody Pops. <laughs> Bow in the house. Bow in the house. <laughs> Uh, please tell us about your character. I'm Papa John. Papa John the Pizza Bard. Pizza Bard? Brady looked askance <laughs> at Papa John. Yeah, Pizza Bard. See, I used to be a pizza king, but I was wrongly removed from my throne by a bunch of ungrateful n subjects. <laughs> oh. So, oh. Oh, damn. He's soft himself. He's learning. <laughs> he's capable of learning. He's doing it. <laughs> uh, so now, I journey across the land, telling my story to anyone who will listen. Great. Now is everyone ready to begin? Goodell beamed with uncharacteristic excitement as he readied the table. Today, you will all be embarking on the most dangerous quest of your lives, but one that promises untold riches in return. Today, you must slay the ultimate evil. Oh, shit. The commissioner went on to explain that the party would begin their voyage at the Bridgestone Tavern, the official tavern of the NFL kingdom. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's really committed. He's like, no, no. <laughs> we need... <laughs> Why, you, they could sell this in act, and have actual monster manuals, and people would buy them. For sure, dude. If it was officially licensed. Ugh. Uh, <clears throat> there, they encountered a mysterious bard who spun a spellbinding tale of a legendary cave. This cave would grant anyone who reached its center their heart's truest wish. But to get to the center meant slaying a creature of unspeakable evil. A creature so vile that no party, no matter how large or formidable had ever survived the encounter. No matter how much pizza you give it. 
It just keeps eating pizza. Oh no! Keep throwing that cardboard. You mean pizza? Whatever. You know, what pizza? It's freaking cardboard with red felt tip markers. <laughs> yeah. It's pizza. It's pizza. And the pepperoncini. Ah. Oh. Uh, if the creature is truly as evil as he says, it's our duty to slay it, no matter the reward. Proclaimed Leftchist, Tebow's paladin player character. Gronk demands we stay at this tavern in order jello shot, said Gronk, whose character Gronk the Barbarian often mirrored Gronkowski's own moral alignment. I'm down with that. Besides, I told that elven maiden I could fit her entire titty in my mouth, and I think she's gonna <laughs> let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how that's just like, oh yeah, you know. <laughs> it's like really like actual nerds. It's like, are there any girls there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's a D&D game. It's like a nerdy thing. Yeah. Spoken like a true barbarian, quipped Kaepernick. Why don't we actually, Colin, as you move to speak, you notice a broken buckle on your boot. What do you do? Goodell interrupted. Uh, I guess I'd fix it. Kaepernick sounded puzzled. Right. In order to fix it, you must kneel down for approximately 45 seconds, which will interrupt a toast being given by a half-orc at the bar. This may be interpreted as a disrespectful act, and even with your uh, charisma, you'll need to roll a 17 or better to avoid trouble. Do you oh. still wish to proceed? Yeah. <laughs> what? Disrespect? Those things aren't even related. That doesn't... Oh, I get it. You're doing... Like a bit, Jesus Christ! Fine, whatever. I choose the kneel anyway. I, I can imagine Tebow hearing him say Jesus Christ and be like, <gasps> "Yeah, ah, <gasps> uh, oh, I should have thought of that. That's great." <laughs> Not language. Kevin, <laughs> <clears throat> I grabbed the twenty-sided die and rolled a fourteen. Go play the baseball, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Mets, cool. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Uh, the barkeep notices your actions and declares that you, Nick Capper, are barred from ever re-entering the tavern. Tough break, Goodell feigned. What's a, what's a Nick gotta do? <laughs> Whose Nick do you have to suck? <laughs> we get a fixed buckle around here. <laughs> Guys, let's get back to the mission, Brady pleaded. I agree with Leftchus. We should check out the cave. Imagine being the first ones to say we found the treasure. Our dreams could all come true. As long as I can take a few of these wineskins with me, I'm in, shouted Papa John, whose character had been at the bar the whole time, pounding meat and asking strangers if they knew who he was. <laughs> it's not like I can stay here, Kaepernick scoffed. Very well, spoke Adele, as the mysterious bard. I shall mark the location of Castrol Cave on your map. Oh my god. I pray for your safety, fellows, especially you, Gronk. <laughs> Guys, look what I just did. <laughs> What did you just do? <laughs> he fit two titties in his mouth. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Woo. Got to the house. Uh, with that, they set out for Castrol Cave. Unclear on the dangers ahead, but unrelenting in their determination to succeed. As they watched, the players exchanged theories on what exactly this beast could be. Some expected the tales had been exaggerated, and all they'd find were a couple of common wyverns. Others thought they might encounter some sort of hybrid creature, like a harpy kraken or a gelatinous cube priest. <laughs> Gronk hoped it would it's be just a... a freaking cube <laughs> with a Bible floating inside it. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> and it just goes, and you just hear like a little <laughs> above it, like when like it heals itself. <laughs> I don't know how to fight this creature. <laughs> Do I sin? <laughs> Gronk hoped it would be a cave of sexy sirens and had to be reminded several times that sirens weren't actually a good thing. No. As dusk made way for the dark of night, the party arrived at the mouth of the cave. Frostblood the wizard produced his trusty staff and cast a spell of illumination, but it managed only to light the path a few feet ahead. Nick Capper fired an arrow inside and listened for it to make contact, but no sound ever returned. Whatever this cave held in store for these five, its treachery had not been overstated. Oh, shit. Castrol Caves, no one goes there. <laughs> Suddenly, a sound did reverberate through the cave walls, but not the echo of Arrow's steel. This was an awful sound, a deep, guttural groan that instilled fear even in the hearts of these brave warriors. As the warriors entered the cave, the sound grew louder and louder, 
each escalation carrying with it some new wrinkle or quirk that only twisted their stomachs tighter, low groans becoming loud groans, loud groans becoming deafening groans, groans that rose to a cacophony that enveloped the party, a horrifying symphony that felt as if it could crush them under the weight of its terror alone, oh assaulting their senses until they could not see, could not feel, could not breathe, couldn't do anything because all they knew was the groaning. Then the groaning stopped. Oh shit. For a few tense moments, everything was dark and silent. After what felt like hours, a single torchlight began to flicker. As it ignited fully, the creature stood before them. <laughs> Goodell pantomimed in less than convincing performance. <laughs> Recoil in fear, warriors, as the grum or at the Grumbill, most menacing of all creatures in the kingdom. Did you just say Grumbill? asked Brady. Yes, it's the most fearsome and sinister creature in the NFL creature or NFL Kingdom creature tome, <laughs> Goodell replied. Uh-huh. And it wouldn't happen to be based on anyone real, would it? Of course not. <laughs> no NPC, NPC, or creature may use the name or likeness of any NFL personnel without the express written consent of the NFL and the NFL PA. Any resemblance is strictly coincidental. Now, behold the Grumbill! Witness his soulless eyes and joyless smile. Notice the way his tattered sleeveless robes flow off of his hideous appendages. <laughs> Tremble in fear at the ungodly guttural noises that originate within its flab sacks. Mm. Okay, it's starting to seem like you just based this thing on Coast. Coach Belichick, Brady Energetic. <laughs> Tom, I promise you, it's a completely original character. You named it the Grum Bill, man. It's not like you even tried to hide it. It's not cool, dude. That's our coach, offered Gronkowski in support. <laughs> Gronk, as your character stares at the beast, you realize it has like 17 vaginas. Holy shit, let's do this. <laughs> I was just, just saying, the entire groaning when that was happening, I bet he was thinking like, this sounds awesome. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you pathetic mortals to my cave? Come to seek the treasure, have you? Fools. Do you know how many... Bo- or I should give him more of a Belichick voice. Yeah. Do you know how many before you have perished? Do you the same? We'll make sure that you can succeed. Because we are virtuous and pure of heart, shouted Tebow. Because we fight for what we believe in, added Kaepernick. Because I am the destroyer of all vaginas, grunted Grum. Damn, I want that title. <laughs> <laughs> you could have it. I don't think anyone has it right now. Yeah, like, I'll make a new character. <laughs> Pussy Town Massacre. <laughs> oh, oh, man, it's like Jonestown, but hotter. <laughs> <laughs> Be- <laughs> because nothing will stop our quest for greatness, proclaimed Brady. Perhaps the house slurred Papa John. <laughs> ha! Cute. Let's see how you handled this. The beast reaches out with its hideous claws and grabs a handful of children, throwing them at your party. Everyone roll for evasion. Why does the beast have a bunch of children? asked Kaepernick. Because that's what he eats! <laughs> All right, come on, man. You're the worst DM ever, Brady pleaded. I just said that was supposed to be like, you know, because that's some of his trade prospects. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take them. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Uh, as I dodge the corpses of the children, I slash at the beast with my holy sword, Tebow cried. The beast anticipates your attack and evades with ease. Then I throw my sword at its head to surprise it. Quick thinking, Leftchis. Toss this empty Diet Pepsi bottle into that recycling bin to succeed. Hey! Tebow grabbed the bottle, cocked it, and let it fly toward a recycling bin no more than five feet away from his chair. It hit Papa John in the face and fell harmlessly to the floor. Oh. Ah, shoot, Tebow cursed. That felt like it was going in. (laughs) I just like the idea of that being like the new thing. Like, you know, the throw in the ball in Dr. Pepper can? Yeah, yeah. It's like that. (laughs) Just throw it and, you know. Just throw an empty, spiral an empty (laughs) Pepsi bottle into the hole, into the garbage. And, you know, it didn't work because Tebow can't throw. Hey! (laughs) Grr, patriots. The beast rises up before he would prepare to destroy you all. Leftchus, it swipes at you with its arms and sends you flying. Gronk, it swallows you whole in one of its many vaginas, incapacitating you completely. Nick, its skin is so thick and grotesque that your crossbow is useless. As you fire your last arrow, the Grumbill throws a living child it was saving for later at you and knocks you to the ground. Catch me! I drink a potion, Kaepernick manages hastily. I'm afraid you cannot reach your Gatorades under the weight of the child. Oh. <laughs> That's enough, monster. Brady stated proudly, I, Frostblood the wizard, will not let you terrorize us any longer. Frostblood actually sounds like a 
a type of Gatorade <laughs> in like a wizard country or in America? Like, it's because there's like glacial <clears throat> frost. Yeah, that's glacial true. frost for Gatorade. Gra- glacial frost is a racially insensitive Gatorade <laughs> title. <laughs> what is wrong with my brain today? Well, today. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't reach your Gatorade in time. Oh boy. Uh, I, Frostblood the Wizard, will not let you terrorize us any longer. I draw my legendary staff, Ice Football. <laughs> Prepare to cast. Wait, where's my staff? Quick side note. I thought for a long time about what to name his staff. I was like, it's got to be something like funny, but also wizardy. And uh-huh. I settled on Ice Football because I ran out of ideas. Nice. <laughs> Wait, a where... frozen roller. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, wait, where's my staff? Goodell chimed in. Oh, while you were entering the cave, Papa John borrowed it. He said he needed it to make margaritas. Oh, for fuck's sake, Brady shouted. Language. <laughs> <laughs> the beast, whatever that sound is. <laughs> As Goodell continues pushing forward. Oh my god. Your oh god. F- your friends are gone. You have no weapon. Are you ready to admit defeat yet, wizard? The grumbill taunts. Never! As long as ice pumps through my gorgeous body, I will never surrender to you. <laughs> Very well. You leave me no choice but to destroy the rest of you. And since I threw my last snacking child at that ranger, I think I'll eat your bard friend. No! <laughs> the beast grabs the pizza bard and swallows him whole in one quick motion. It grumbles with its stupid voice as it begins to swallow, leaving you standing alone and unarmed. As it continues to swallow, though, its grumbling takes on a different pitch. Your ears struggle to discern what's happening. Suddenly, you realize that it's no longer grumbling. It sounds like it's giggling. At first, you aren't sure, but as the moments pass, you're certain. Oh, the no. beast is giggling. Oh, it no. almost sounds like... is. Wait, is the beast drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it did eat Papa John in one bite, Brady agreed. He's like the human equivalent of one of those alcohol-filled candies. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely, and since it threw its last snacking child at Colin, it ate him on an empty stomach. The beast is now full on plastered, and it stumbles into the cave walls and falls over. The force of the blow knocks a giant rock free that lands on its face, and then it soils itself, and alcohol also it gets alcohol poisoning. <laughs> the beast is one for the road. <laughs> the beast has been brutally, incredibly, hilariously slain. So that means, guys, we did it, Brady exclaimed. Great work, everyone, Kaepernick added, exchanging high fives with Tim Tebow. Guys, quick tip, those things were not real vaginas. (laughs) They had teeth and bees and stuff in there. Bees. (laughs) Plus, you know, it's like a horrible beast. God only knows what else. Oh, God. Plus, after the first six or so, they were all kind of the same. Gronkowski offered helpfully. Oh, my God. Helpfully. (laughs) Excellent work, warriors, Goodell concluded. You worked together, played to your strengths, and in the end, you killed that awful, unlovable, ancient monster. I'm telling Coach about this, Brady threatened. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) Now, as a result, you may all claim your reward, the granting of your heart's truest desire. The group again congratulated each other around the table, raising a toast with their Dan and yogurts. (laughs) Nice. I say Gronk, it's like a creature with 18 (laughs) vaginas. Yeah, like, what? That one almost killed you. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you only live once. <laughs> uh, Frostblood wished only to be recognized as the greatest wizard of all time and was transformed into an all-powerful and crazy handsome goat wizard. <laughs> <laughs> greatest of all time wizard, right? Mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. an actual, like, satyr goat. Both. <laughs> uh, all right, awesome. <laughs> Nick Capper wished to bring attention to the injustices he and his peers faced and Leftus wished, uh, wished to spread his message of faith across the land. But when the cave demurred, because those things sounded, like, vague and hard, and instead gave each of them a commemorative t-shirt and a gift card for a bunch of lesser wishes that the heart only kinda desired. <laughs> Gronk wanted a party boat with a bunch of kegs that never ran out of beer, an ice luge that never melted, and an endless supply of lotion for sexual reasons he discussed in extremely excessive detail. <laughs> the cave granted his wish on the condition he never returned. <laughs> I like the idea of lesser wishes. It's like, <laughs> yeah, then you right. wake up one day and like you think you're getting sick and you're just like, I wish I wasn't getting I sick. I wish I wasn't getting sick. Like, do you want to use your punch card? Like, hey. yeah, all right. <laughs> you, get, I mean, you get 10, your 11th is free. Yeah, it's... It's not exactly what I wanted, but I do want it. Yeah. <laughs> Puts on the t-shirt. 
Papa John wished to recapture his throne as the, quote, white pizza king, unquote, when the cave asked him to clarify if he was talking about Alfredo sauce-based pizzas. He let out an awkward, uh, and then looked around guiltily. You know, one of those moves. <laughs> Finally, Roger Goodell was not granted a wish, as he was not a player character in this campaign, but he did feel satisfied that his wish to have a fun time with his friends was a rousing success. Because as we all know, the real treasure was friendship all along. He then plugged himself back into the wall and entered power saver mode. And he did so with a <laughs> smile on his face. Oh. The end. Oh, very nice. Thank you, thank you. It has a good message at the end. It does. And it, and it just goes to show... That there's nothing more true to the game than having a good time with your friends. Exactly. Especially if your friends are all strong NFL personalities that it's easier to write a story around. <laughs> Maybe it could happen to you. If you're... Yeah. <laughs> you listening, NFL players who watch this? <laughs> Listen to this? I'd say to anybody. True. Yeah. I'd like to point out, um, in case it wasn't obvious... I named Tebow's character Leftchis, which is the opposite of Righteous, because uh, Tebow's a lefty. Uh, ha, 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 ha. You get it? You see what I did with the thing? Yep. Mm-hmm. This is your Beaches and Bears story. All right, I'll take that. <laughs> it's it, the esteem I hold my story to. I hold this story of yours to that level of Aww, esteem. That, thank you. That's so nice. And that's, uh, although I will say, no guest appearance from a solar bear. <laughs> Solar Bears don't live in the NFL kingdom. They're banished because they're not an official sponsor. The freaking <laughs> Johnsons and Johnsons PDF, PD, PDF SPF 400 Solar Bear. Solar Bear protection <laughs> for even the most solar of your bears. Come, whatever, come back to us. Sun's mm. out, sun's up, bear it all. <laughs> bear it all. I like that. <laughs> Woo! Sure, I get that. But oh I guess I'm glad. Oh man, I think this was another successful episode of Not Fantasy Fiction. I tend to agree, man. Those are pretty enjoyable stories. Yeah, I'm glad we picked. I'm glad we picked the prompts that we did mm -hmm. because, in a way, I think these were my favorite ones so far. They were the most familiar, in a sense, mm -hmm. uh, which is interesting because, as part of the like pre-research for mine. I did a ton of, like, reading and research. Like character sheets and stuff. Yeah, about Dungeons and Dragons in general, because I don't know shit about it. Yeah. And then I also, like, I've got a little, in my Firefox, I've got a little folder called, like, Story Resources, and it's, like, character alignments, D&D &D thing, something else, and then list of official NFL sponsors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I would love to see uh, Google looking at on your search engine history like, what the fuck? Yeah, what is this person doing? Is this a robot? A <laughs> Russian then, robot? And then you type a in... A gay and, Russian robot? And then you type in... And you type in 18 vagina monsters. You're like, oh, okay. No, this is... Oh, uh, no, that's Gronk. It's just Gronk. <laughs> he's looking... He's on the prowl again. <laughs> I like the thing. Can I just get 18 chicks and, like, tape staple them together? <laughs> the, the cave's like, I mean, you can... <laughs> <laughs> that's really what your heart wants is it really you know what i gotta think it is it's like a human fuck peed <laughs> <laughs> i just like that every time i wrote something for gronk to be doing i was like what's the most like absurd sexual thing i could think of in this scenario and then that's what i did <laughs> there were bees in there there were teeth and bees dude no the worst. One, uh, they, one of them told me the other one had ice cream, but I checked <laughs> and there was more bees. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> that one was a liar. Dang, I'm, I'm low on my calories for the day. I thought I could use some ice cream. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. It's a sidebar, actually. Um, 
not to name drop someone, but uh, Don Mosquito himself was doing a Twitch stream just the other day. Like, I follow him on Twitter, and he put out a thing, like, saying, hey, guys, I'm going to be playing some classic games just the other day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I caught the end of it, and I made sure to actually tell him, like, hey, we, your stuff, fantasy fiction, Tales from the Tavern, and all that stuff, inspired my brother and I, that's you. Yes. Uh, to, to write. Thank you. <laughs> name dropping oh. my brother. <laughs> Damn, dude. How'd you meet that guy? <laughs> Yo, no, my whole life. We came oh. up together. <laughs> Uh, but I made sure to tell him, like, uh, the those episodes in the series, I'm marathoning them again right now, even. It's like they were a huge inspiration. Yeah. And they just do this as well. And we are recording. He's like, and he just straight up said, that's fucking awesome. Like, that's great. Like, anything that people do that inspire people to be creative and have a creative outlet is always a, a good thing. I agree with that. And that's super cool that he's, like, inspiring of it. As opposed to, like, the classic, like, you fucking stole our idea. Just another lame ripoff. Yeah. <laughs> like, whatever. I think he knows. I mean, I'm sure he knows that it's not like a big time thing. It's probably no, like it's a just, smaller time thing. But still. It's still like it, it's a matter of that's the best attitude to have when it yeah. comes to creativity and stuff like that. So it was cool to see that and also see him like kick Ninja Gaiden's ass pretty well. <laughs> Did he? That's good. He was doing real good. You know what's funny about that is when you texted me that he was streaming, you know what I was doing? A fantasy football draft. Oh! How is that for brand synergy, oh! dog? Oh! Fucking bringing it together. It's like he knew. It's like we... Ye, who? He's, he's a stream... Dom. It's oh. like he's a stream wizard. <laughs> stream wizard. Oh. It's like a wizard, but, you know, lamer. <laughs> but a really good bit rate, so your streams get at 60 FPS at 1080. Oh, Mwah. fuck. Dude, so many 80s. So, like, so many bit th that's rates. That's 1080s. You're like, no, no. Could you imagine if someone was installed like, how many 80s does this have? What are you talking about? Well, there's 720. How many 80s does this have? How many are you... Oh. Well, this is 4K, so I guess 20. <laughs> I did that the other day at happy hour. I was talking about uh, 820, which is a bar in town. Uh -huh. And they were like, what's that? And I was like, it's... Double 420. <laughs> and they were like, Damn! No, double 420 would be, be 840. 840. And I was like, No. <laughs> Not according to this dumb joke I made on the fly. <laughs> Come on. So take that, asshole. Yeah, see, exactly. Narc. Yeah, jeez, why to blow up my spot? Oh, the, the, you, there's always that guy. There's always that guy. When you say something funny, you're cool. And there's like, um, actually. Yeah, um, actually, um, actually, if you do the math, which I just did on my Casio calculator watch. Ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> was he fucking the table? <laughs> He was getting off on himself. Spe <laughs> Speaking of, uh, this is actually this ties in quite a bit. Uh, a couple years ago during the NFL draft, uh -oh. Mike Mayock on NFL Network, I think, was talking about how much he liked a player and how if he were the team that was drafting, I don't remember which player or which team, but he was talking about how if he was on that team, he would encourage them. To, to trade up in the draft to get that player. Right. And the way he phrased it was, I would bang the table in that room and demand that we get him. But all my buddy Evan and I heard and took from it was the, I would bang the table. It's like you know, one of those like YouTube remixes with auto-tune. It's like, <laughs> yeah. bang, bang the table. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. There's so many football tie-ins. This is such a great set of props. Oh. And now all the more important, because football season started just like the other day. Hell yeah, let's go Eagles! one set of birds. <laughs> the dirty birds got picked clean. The dang, dude. Oh. And you know who did it to them? Their own offensive coordinator. That team's going to be a fucking shit show. It was so weird to me just seeing, like, Matt Ryan's in the pocket, and he's just looking around, like, doesn't know what to do, and then his own guy, like, backs into him and knocks him over. It's like, what the fuck are uh -huh. you doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, their offensive coordinator is a fucking disgrace. <laughs> it's going to be a nightmare for Lane that Giffen. team. No, not even. It's a Steve Sarkeesian. Oh, God. But that's another former USC coach slash coordinator. Mm. So hooray for that tree. <laughs> that's going great. Oh, boy. I mean, Pete Carroll's doing fine, but 
Good lord. Before this turns into an actual football fantasy cast, <laughs> I think we should wrap it up here and say thanks again for joining us on another episode of Not Fantasy Fiction, the Artist and the Econ- Economist podcast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And god dang it, if we're still high up on that name change, we gotta start thinking of other ones. <laughs> This we've shit, been this, talking about that since episode one we got this this channel's going places we know that <laughs> we, we have to have brand synergy we definitely do and if we don't i mean then what are we even doing here step one steal ideas uh-huh. done two <laughs> funnier cooler name shit dang it well we got through step one <laughs> Yeah, that's the easy part. That's productive. <laughs> oh, but dude, what is stolen about sitting around playing video games with game footage or doing fantasy drafts of abstract subjects or uploading other let's plays from let's players and then commenting over their commentary? <laughs> oh, dude, that would actually be awesome. Like a meta let's play. <laughs> Look at this jerk play this game. It's like reaction videos. Yeah. It's reactions to reactions. It's rea- it's yeah, it's like oh man. Oh my god. How many layers deep can you go? <laughs> Until the money machine turns off. <laughs> if you showed the people at Nintendo who created Super Nintendo what would eventually happen to the Super Nintendo in terms of YouTube commentary and then meta commentary and then that whole like meta layered scenario, they would kill themselves. <laughs> They'd be like, nope. <laughs> How many layers removed from playing a game do you need to fucking be? Hey, look at this game. I made it to Super Mario World. Cool. I'm going to watch a dude play it as some guy who's not playing it talks over that guy playing it. That's a great idea. You want to hear my thoughts on that? <laughs> and watch my reaction video to my reaction video. <laughs> I die from Mario? Question mark? <laughs> and lose Parent- my virginity somehow? Parentheses, not clickbait. And find a body in a forest? <laughs> Fucking 17 minutes long. Oh my god. That's the thing that gets me, is I love, like, I've got Madden Mobile on my phone, and every so often... Oh, thank Mobile... god it's still about football. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Duh, you can't escape. But it's really anything where, like this. It can be any game where, like, if you're going on YouTube, like, hey, I want to look up a walkthrough of, like, how to visually do this section of hollow knight or undertale or whatever sure and you'll find a video where it's like okay the section i'm looking for is in this part of the game this video should be a minute and a half long tops and it's like and you'll get a video that's like yeah 20 it's like hey guys it's your boy it's your boy sans x papyrus here with yet another undertale walkthrough now if you remember last time (laughs) we were just getting out of snowden we did a little skeleton fight we were on like a little bit of a date it was pretty great we got some spaghetti and now we're getting ready we touch his spaghetti (laughs) you gotta have memes in there yeah yeah, exactly. Because you gotta date the episode And, like, that quick way. cuts, too. Like, yeah. the thing about him is, he's not good anyway, guys. A million, four million a year. <laughs> <laughs> How much more money can I give you? <laughs> All of it? You got it. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us, everybody. We'll Indeed. see you all next time. Yeah, for sure. Goodbye. Happy Peace goodbye. Out. Fantasy football. What time is it? <laughs> Uh, the ending. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Cheers. Eat it. Eat it. Eat a sandwich. Okay. <laughs> That's my, my new rap disc. Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> Skinny ass bitch. Eat a sandwich. Oh, shit, dude. If this were like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or Ally Mc. Beal or anything with like a character that would get so skinny that people would comment on their appearance. That would be a legit burn. 
warm in this room, dude. Well, I don't have the windows open because people are splitting logs outside. Yeah, I get that. So. I mean, I get why you, you're doing it, but... I don't know how you wear a hat all the time. Like, my hair is long and moppy, and it's got me all like, whoo, it's my, whoo, the girl, the, the, the vapors. Ooh, it's like a southern maiden in <laughs> New Orleans. My vagina's making me so hot. <laughs> my <laughs> eternal <laughs> pussy. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> sitting there with a fan, like, instead of fanning their face on a porch swing. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets sweaty shit. down there. <laughs> Just, you gotta air it out. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing next to the swamp, otherwise this really stank. <laughs> Some dude walks by. He's like, "What in Christ, Golden Kingdom? <laughs> Jumping G horse effect? <laughs> sure is sweltering today, boys. You want to come up, have a spit, sit a spell, have some iced tea? <laughs> you, no, <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not thirsty." <laughs> Are you hungry? Definitely not. <laughs> oh.